and in having a few words with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, would you give us a quick overview of what is that your company do and uh, what is your involvement in it? Sure. Uh, so my name is Jeff Schmidt. I run a company called Data Pulse. Uh, data Pulse is a data provider uh, for the investment space. Uh, we focus on internet infrastructure data that gives investors visibility into uh, Internet of Things or IoT spaces, so embedded devices, everything from automobiles to coffee makers, uh, as well as uh, enterprise software and cloud, uh, B2B services, including uh, Slack and Zoom and companies like that, uh, as well as uh, Office 365, uh, the Google suite of technologies that, that enterprises use. We provide visibility into uh, how these products are being used and how they're growing. Right. Would you give us also a quick insight of uh, how your work has been uh, uh, successful, being sec I imagine it's very successful, right? How, how it's been uh, going in the past, give the case examples, how you used your data, and uh, eventually what are the biggest challenges in, in, in this kind of field? Sure. So uh, presently our data is being used um, uh, primarily by um, uh, fundamental investors uh, that are looking to increase their conviction in a position that they're taking. So for example, uh, one of our clients has a thesis about the payment space. Uh, they want to understand um, the, the various payment providers, uh, the new payment providers, people like Square, uh, Clover and such, and how they're doing, uh, where they're growing, um, how they're doing with respect to um, increasing their base from non-traditional kind of replacement of cash. Uh, sorts of use cases to uh, small retail use cases. Um, and so we're able to provide data uh, that uh, help them uh, increase the conviction um, of positions that they're taking. Um, another area uh, that we cover uh, is in the enterprise software space. And so one of the, the companies that we cover, uh, Slack, is telling a story about upgrading uh, their clients, uh, upgrading from uh, their uh, paid uh, subscription levels to their enterprise subscription levels. And that's an area that we're able to track and watch um, as they're successful uh, in, uh, in, in making those uh, upsells. It's an important part of their thesis, um, and we have uh, clients that are leveraging our data for that purpose right now to, to see how management's doing uh, uh, with respect to that thesis. And uh, like I mentioned, what do you think are the biggest issues or challenges in, in uh, data mm -hmm. harvesting and uh, overcoming maybe obstacles with privacy? And... Sure. So our, our data is, um, a not well understood, uh, if you will, when you talk about you know internet infrastructure and the technical stuff that we look at, um, it's not as straightforward for people to understand as satellite imagery or climate data, where you can kind of you know make make some some fundamental assumptions about what the data looks like. So we have a challenge just explaining what we do and how it maps to KPIs that investors are interested in. Um, once we prove out that that our data is related to KPIs that investors are interested in. Um, we go through compliance and regulatory uh, sorts of scrutiny, which we invite and is, is fine. But again, since we're a little different, since privacy um, is a, you know, a key uh, concern, since compliance is a key concern, we want to make sure that people are very comfortable with how we source our data um, and that you know, we have the, the authorization to use the data that, that we provide. So we've gone through that uh, process a number of times uh, with, uh, with our clients. The third thing is, you know, we're very transparent about um, our error modalities. No data is perfect. We do have sample-based data as well as census-based data, and uh, there are uh, error modalities in all of those cases. And so we're very transparent about what our sampling biases look like, what we can see, what we can't see, and uh, what sorts of, you know, resulting um, uh, 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 transparency you have to have around uh, around the, the errors that could emerge. Well, thank you. Uh, and uh, is there anything else you think would be important for you to tell us or conclude this little short interview? Yeah, we're, we're really excited about increased visibility in B2B and an enterprise software space. Obviously, you know, enterprise software, cloud, um, IoT, these are growing areas. They're areas that current data sets don't have a lot of visibility into. And so it's an area that we really focus on and we're really excited about making that available, available making that data available. Great, and uh, if it's not a trade secret, what are your biggest clients? Uh, so we don't give client names. I would say that you know we have clients that are direct uh, hedge funds. We also 
uh, service some folks that I would call our, our channels or intermediaries that create uh, products that contain our data and other data, um, cross our data with other data sets and then create research products that they then turn uh, sell to the investment space. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you very much. Appreciate it's a pleasure, it. thanks.